Okay, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been really busy. I'm also a bit sick at the moment. I've had a COVID test. It's not COVID. I'm okay with that. Just a bit of a cold going around at the moment uh, here in Melbourne. So um, anyway, now so people will remember the Cervelo S5 where the cam that limits the travel on the head tube um, for the fork basically impacts the head tube and causes damage. Well, we've got another one of those. Um, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. This one is the Cannondale. Um, and, uh, and I'll show you what the, the genius designer has come up with to limit the travel on the fork within the head tube. Now, I'll, I'll post some, uh, some close-up stills as well. Um, but I don't know if you can see right there, there's a metal blade. Now, that piece of metal is designed to butt up against the carbon to limit the travel. Now, I'll show you what happens, and again, I'll throw some stills in um, so we can uh, have a closer look, but I'll show you what happens. I don't know if you can see, and we're probably gonna be better with some stills, but. So let's have a look at some of the features. So here you can see the pin, and uh, you'll notice that there's quite a lot of, uh, carbon slash resin residue sort of built up here, which has remained um, from the gouging that's, uh, that, that occurred. Now, you also notice, so where the bearing sits sort of through this face here, the height of it is not that great. You know, so it's, it's quite low. And that's, you'll see that when we look at the head tube, the, uh, the difference in the, in the height. So here's a, a, a view from above. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that the surface area that's designed to impact is quite small. So it's this face here. So instead of using a larger, flatter area to reduce the point load, they've decided to make it a narrow, almost like a blade type um, design. So it really maximizes the point load um, during an impact. So instead of having large surface area, they've gone for minimal surface area on the contact face. So here you can see where in the head tube that the um, it's designed to sort of move in this uh, in this region here. And so that is the the face that it butts up against. Um, now you can also see that it's actually gouged out all along here. And it's also impacted the back of the fork um, to the down tube junction sort of here, which is what this limit travel design ironically is meant to avoid. So now you'll notice that the height of it, that the full height of the, um, the space is, is there, but it's actually gouged out about halfway. So you're ending up with such a point load in that area. And, um, and because of the support of the bearing, so the bearing sits in that bearing recess there. So that constrains that face. So the only way the material, um, the only place the material can go is that way out to the side, which is exactly what's happened. So if we, um, if we look on the other side, we can see the same thing has happened here. So not quite as, uh, as extensive because it's only gone to about here. But again, you can see the height. So it's only engaging at about 50% of that surface anyway, and then it's quite narrow. So you're getting all that gouging out 
through here and the resultant force vector due to the bearing constraint is out the side. So the only option it's got is to delaminate the um, side of the head tube. That metal spike that you saw, when you turn the fork, that impacts against the frame and causes damage to the frame. Unbelievable. Now, you, <laughs> I'm lost for words again. It's just like, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm lost for words again. This is ridiculous. Like, how many times do people are people going to be making the same mistake? Um, anyway, pe uh, on the on the last on the last uh, the Savello video I did, people said oh, I took too long explaining it, and I was just incredulous. Um, I, I could just stand here dumbfounded all day, like just in disbelief that people can be so stupid again. Um, but I won't. I'll end it there, short and sweet. Um, I hope everyone's okay. Um, keep an eye out for this sort of stuff though. This is ridiculous. Okay, enjoy. Bye.